All right, Zerg friends, this is Fana bringing you another Stefano replay cast. Now, all right, let, let's go ahead and introduce. I always, I always do this, like I'm going to talk about the game, but I forget to introduce the players first. So we're always going to introduce them first. Then we can talk about them and say how cool they are or whatever. So in the bottom left of Yonsu LE, it is a barcode. It is Stefano. And in the top right of the map, with some banter going on here, we have got a Blue Terran from Team NB. Not too popular, I haven't really heard of them myself. It is Funke. Now this is actually Mana's brother. I don't know, well, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know anything about this guy. I've never seen him play. There's nothing on Liquipedia about him, except that he's brothers with Mana. And obviously he plays at a decently high level since he has managed to hit Stefano in this ladder game here. And it looks like Stefano knows him <laughs> since Stefano always has banter at the start of his games. It's really fun actually because a lot of people just play the game silently. But Stefano loves to have a little bit of a chat. So this game, Funke, why am I casting Funke? I was trying to cast like the big names from these replays that I could find. But Funke is not really a big name. Maybe in the European scene is known a lot more, but I definitely haven't really heard of him before. But a friend of mine called Angelica, also like the number one mod for Stefano, big Stefano fan girl, um, recommended these games. So I'm expecting some crazy games here, because Angel Angelica is like the number one resource to go to when it comes to Stefano. If you follow Stefano at all, you probably know about Angelica too. So we're going to watch this game, and we're going to see what happens. I've been told it's a good one, so we've got Reaper coming out here. And if it sucks, you can all blame Angelica there. But uh, I, d I do believe, so hopefully it'll be good. Now, we've got no gas coming up for Stefano. This map is really good for Reapers, and that's what Funke has started. Opened with here, he's going to move around this side and jump up this ledge. And without speed really early on, these Reapers are going to be able to keep jumping about, jumping into the main, jumping up this ledge here. And it's going to be really hard for Stefano to not lose drones, because the distance here is huge as well. Reapers coming in, but the first links pop. Now, this isn't the hard part. Oh, wait, there's no second Reaper. Oh. Well, maybe it's not going to be that hard then. It's when they go like two Reapers, it gets really hard, but with one Reaper... It shouldn't be too hard for Stefano to deal with this, but when you got two, like, you can just sit them here, and because there's no creep, since it's such a big distance, then they can start picking off drones really easily. Also, the three Reaper opener is really popular at the minute, I'm surprised. We haven't seen more people go in for that. Innovation made that really popular, because obviously every Terran player loves Innovation, and because Innovation was going three Reaper, everyone else died going three Reaper. Now, the problem with three Reaper is that you are weak to big speed link timings, obviously, because you have to delay the Hellions just a bit, but it's not too bad at all. You can do a lot more with three Reapers than you can do with two or one. Now, Funke is just going to move this down here, sit it down there, and deny the third base for as long as possible. This is the annoying thing about Reapers, especially on this map as well. It's not like you can just send the Queens down there really easily, because there's a big, big distance to travel, and these rocks don't come down easily at all. But Stefano is going to be open with the Roach here. Two gas as well at 40 supply. So definitely going to see a Roach opener at least. He has got the Evo Chamber already. So I expect it to be more of a macro oriented Roach opener. Oh, ouch. Losing an Overlord there. Nice play by Funke. This is one of the advantages of going one Reaper. You get to react at four Marines here. And then go hunting. Oh my god, he's going to get another one. This is really painful. He's got four overlords on the production tab, which should give him supply to build a couple of roaches, but it's going to slow down his droning massively. Yeah, that's really painful. He has got the second Evo chamber coming up now, so definitely going to be upgrades and definitely going to be more of a macro style from Stefano. Also picking up the fourth gas, third and fourth gas. So his third, his third base is going to be pretty late here. Not another one, no, no, oh, 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 it survives, 4 HP. If he lost that one as well, it would have been super painful. But yeah, the third base is going to be really late for Stefano. Generally, it starts around 6 minutes, but this one's going to be 7.30, so droning is going to be slow for Stefano in this game. He could go for a 1-1 one, one roach timing. He has got those double upgrades, the roach run. He hasn't actually built any roaches yet, surprisingly. If Funke went a bit crazy there and dive with his uh, 
Hellions, then he could probably get a bit of damage done since we've only got slowlings here and just a couple of queens. The Hellions are going to start working on the queens now. This is the nasty thing that happens with a Reaper Hellion. These guys just don't stop talking. They must be good friends or something. Alright, so he's just looking to deny this creep over and over. Probably will throw down a scan. If he gets these three creep tumors, that's going to slow down the creep quite a lot there. Five roaches on the way, but these are so slow, man. Like, this build looks so slow for Stefana because of thirds late, he lost those overlords so much. If I was in this kind of situation, I would be crushed right now, I'd be thinking this game's already over, but... It's always a bad mindset when you think like that. Stefano obviously wants to play this out. And third command center on the way for 1k. We've already got the starport as well. I think this was a bit later than it normally was. I wasn't actually looking at the base, but I'm pretty sure that's a bit later, which is going to allow Funke to hit a slightly earlier timing with these double medivacs that do pop out. Now the Roshi is coming in to deal with these, but there's, there's already Marauders on the map. This is why the third CC was delayed. The Marauders are out, and they're going to help massively against his Roshi. Stefano is never going to get this base. I think all of these units are going to get taken down from Stefano, and then he's not going to have a third base. His Dronin's already been slow. This is painful, he's losing the queens as well. Both of these roaches are gonna go down. Can Funke just push in right now? There's eight roaches on the production tab. Once those pop, he should be able to defend, but that's another queen going down. Two more roaches, the marauders at the back. Funke, it's looking nasty, but he does manage to hold with these roaches if another queen goes down. But that, that one's gonna survive. There's still no drones on the third base. It's, it's nearly 10.30 into the game right now. Generally, you wanna be saturated by at least 9.30. But yeah, this droning is super slow for Stefano. He's got the upgrades on the way. Upgrades are a bit late for Funke since he did get those Marauders out really quickly. And the third command center is a bit later than normal as well. So Funke did have to commit to that. He did put a bunch of resources into those Marauders. So the fact that Stefano hasn't droned up as fast as normal is pretty standard. But I still think it's a pretty low drone count. Generally against those two base pushes, you can get about eight drones on the third base nice and easily. And now we've got a Viking going around, already got one Overlord, so I think that's three Overlord kills this game. Yeah, it is three Overlord kills. And Stefano hasn't really scouted either, so... Doesn't know if it's Mech or Bio right now. Drop coming across with these two Marauders, flying across the right side of the map. There are Roaches ready down here, though. The, the, the hard thing about... he's going Roach Hydra, man. The hard thing about playing Roach Hydra, Hydra is the drops. And with a map like this, there's, there's not very good engagement areas. Like, he's going to attack up here with Roach Hydra? That would be horrible. Up here is even just as bad. And then the other attack path is this one. Like, the chokes are horrible for attacking into a 3 base Terran with Roach Hydra on this map. He's not droning up much either. It looks like Stefano is going to turn this into like a 2-2 Roach Hydra all-in. Kind of like the Tefl style. I did a video on a while ago, he has got some nice create spread going. But yeah, he's definitely going for that. The plus two attack is on the way now. A lot of Hydras coming out. This was before the patch, by the way, so the Hydras aren't as strong as they are currently. Drop coming into the main... Oh, two, two Widow Mines. This could do quite a bit of damage if Stefano isn't paying attention. It flies in. It goes... Oh, I don't think he's noticed. It's brewing. Oh, it gets taken down. And he's going to be ready for this one as well. Hydra is going to be able to take that medivac down. Stefano is on point. <laughs> Not going to lose that medivac. Alright. So as the plus two armor, I'm pretty sure Stefano is going to push this. He's already moving across the map. He's 152 supply. These pushes can be deadly. But they have to do a lot of damage. You have to get in there and do an insane amount of damage. Because there's not much to fall back on. Especially... Well, actually, he's saturated the third base now, but yeah, I mean, these have to be killing blows. They can't be some kind of pressure, which don't too much do too much damage. What's Funky doing? He needs to take care of those roaches. 
And he's taking care of them now, but Sta Stefano is moving into natural, looking for a position here. He's going to get the concave right here, and then Funky is going to have to move into him. Here comes Funky now. That's a lot of Hydras at the back for Stefano. Funky engaging into this Roach Hydra right now. 2-2 is already out, so he can tank these Marine bullets really well. And he looks like he might be able to push through the Medivac's healing the Marines and Marauders, but there just isn't. Oh, is there enough? It looks like he will hold on. The Roach and Hydra numbers are getting smaller and smaller, and the reinforcements for Funky do manage to kill the rest of the roaches but there's more roaches coming across the map for Stefano 11 roaches six hydras on the production tab he's gonna look to move into this third base right now two widow mines not in the best position at all I don't think the roaches and hydras are gonna be moving into those oh oh well he micros that pretty well and losing two roaches to those can he take down this command center the hydras are hitting it I don't think they're gonna do enough damage he should be able to pull SCVs to save that one Funky should be able to pull SCVs to save that one, Funky. Yes? Okay. Alright, we've got a double drop coming down the left side of the map. This is the kind of play that's really good against Roach Hydra. There's not much at all around for Stefano, except for these Hydras that just did pop. But Stefano is pushing in straight into the natural now. He's looking for the kill right at this moment. Marines, Marauders, and SEVs even come into battle as well. The Medivac's healing a lot of damage. Does he have enough to break through? Stefano looking for the kill. A lot of SEVs have been taken down. The Marines and the Marauders, a tank pops up at the back. That's going to help out a lot, but with all these SEVs going down, he might not be able to break through. He has to back off with that tank coming into play. The Hydras are going to take way too much damage. He realizes it, realizes it as well. And the drop in the main base doing a lot of damage as well. Did he manage to retreat those drones? I don't think he did. No, they all took the damage. So a big amount of drone kills for both players here. All the SCVs going down for Funke on the natural. All the drones going down in the main base for Stefano. We've got 49 drones against 32 SCVs. But remember, he's got triple orbital. Wait. Yeah, he's got triple orbital. I was going to say, did that die? No, but it didn't. Which means the mules are there. Which means even though he's on 34 SCVs, it's not as bad as you may think it is. And he does find these units now, but he should be able to pick a couple of them up and get out of there if he does control it correctly. It looks like he's just going to go for the stim instead and leg it instead of picking up because his boosters weren't ready, so maybe that would have been a tiny risk. Stefano is going to redrone his bases. And without the third base up for Funke, it's going to be a really tough situation. Another double drop coming around this side of the map. No vision for Stefano, no overlords or anything, but he's, he's still... Oh, he's going for this. I was going to say, it looks like he knew because he's moving his army down there. But it just looks like he wants to take down these rocks. And these are going to sneak past what are those two marauders doing up there. He's going to move into this third base now. Stefano's army not too far away, so shouldn't be too much damage done with this drop. He's moving in, looking for a couple of drone kills. Needs to pick up as soon as possible and get out of there with another drop coming across the left side of the map as well. Really needs to think about getting that third command center down since his main base is now mined out, basically. And his naturals get in there as well. Two uh, patches gone missing. Tanks are coming out now as well for Funky. Obviously help out against Roach Hydra. Swarm host on the way for Stefano. This is what we've all been waiting for in these replay casts. And now there's another drop in the main base. Hydras take care of that easily. Stefano was ready for that one. And this double drop has to come back as well. Funky gonna look at securing this base. Now with his tanks. You'd think he was in a better situation, but swarm hosts are coming out now. You need a lot of tanks if you want to kill locusts before they can do the damage. And Stefano is going to be looking at getting a fourth base. I'm interested in how he's going to play these swarm hosts because the problem with swarm hosts is against bio, they can drop like crazy. And if he's going to keep Hydras in every position to defend drops, then the main army is not going to be too strong either. Funke is making a risky move down onto the creep here. He's going deep on the creep. I don't like this at all. He's he's going so deep. And this is going to give Stefano amazing positions to engage into. There's no way he's going to kill all of that creep. A lot of Hydras in the mix for Stefano. Swarm hosts are on the way as well. He's moving around the back. The tanks are in siege mode there. Locusts are moving out. <laughs> Funke is going to be pretty surprised with those. Stefano not trying to trying not to take a terrible engagement there. Just looking for that concave. Doesn't want to go into the tanks with the Hydras. Now we've got Vipers on the way. The Blinding Cloud 
will help out massively with those tanks. The Hydras are moving forward along with the Locust. Will he go deep enough? No, it looks like he doesn't want to engage with those tanks. He just wants to fight with the Marine Marauder right here. But if he does step a bit too far, then he will run into that tank fire. But again, he is on creep here. Like, look at all this creep. It means the Locusts are so much better. The Hydras are so much better. Everything is just so much better. The Locusts are doing damage over and over and over. Funke is losing units. And now with the Vipers, where's the Vipers? He's got the energy for the Blinding Cloud. Once he can Blinding Cloud those tanks... And everything, there we go, the blinding cloud comes down on the marines and the marauders, the tanks as well. The hydras are moving through, the tanks can't do anything with this cloud on them. And he's moving up the ramp, he needs to snipe those tanks before the cloud runs out. He does manage to do it, but there's so many marines and marauders for Funke here. The locust going to come in and try and save the day for Stefano, but has he got enough? There's so many spine crawlers though, Funke is not going to be able to push down this ramp. But at the same time, he is denying this fourth base from going up. He's got a Widow Mine on there, it's hard for Stefano to deal with this when he's so focused on the engagement that is going on. He needs everything to fight Funke's army. And we've got a weird game here because both players basically on one base. Like, the only mining is from the third base for both of them. The Swarm Hosts are going to be good if he can keep them alive. Because 16, well, it's going to be 19 Swarm Hosts soon. They're just going to keep trading with the ground army in a low economy game like this. It's, they're going to be really efficient. Now, I, I like this play from Funke. He's picking all of his units up. He's going to go for drops everywhere. Even just a massive Doom drop. It's going to be really hard for him to deal with these Locusts. So, they're moving forward now. Doing a lot of damage to these Marines and Marauders. The Stim goes down. Like, <laughs> you're losing so much HP just to fight against three units. And he has to hold on in this position whilst he waits for his drop to move across the left side of the map. It's a lot of friggin' swarm host, man. He's, he's only going swarm host as well. <laughs> Just five more swarm hosts. Do you even need this amount, man? We're gonna be up at 30 swarm hosts soon. Oh, he just managed to wall it off there by taking down the rocks, but here comes a big drop. Stefano is ready for it with the Hydras. Nice little play. It's kind of like playing against Protoss here. Have the swarm hosts out on the map. Have a control group of units out to deal with the uh, Warp Prism RS, except in this case it's Medivacs. But uh, he's going to find an Overlord here. Not really a big deal at this point in the game. Locusts do take down the rocks. Now, are these Locusts going to do damage? Yes, they are. And whenever Locusts are doing damage, that's, that's not a good thing. Because you're trading money units away for free units. So Funke doesn't want to be in this situation for too long. The shorter amount of time that he can be in this situation, the better. But I'm not sure what he can do to break out of this. The fourth base is in a good position here because the Swarmers are here to cover it. There's a lot of spines out as well, so he can't just move down the ramp. He's building evolution chambers as well for his vipers for that blinding cloud. And Slowly, everything is dying to, to locusts. There's a drop over here at the fourth base. Did manage to sneak that one through, but the hydras are coming now. He's also got hydras over here waiting for this four medivac drop, but Funke coming in now. Scan goes down. The hydras are out of position. He's going to get all of the units out before they manage to snipe the medivacs, which means these hydras are going to get melted by the bio force from Funke. Now he's got a position that he can engage into. The swarm hosts are all the way over here on this side of the map. There's more hydras coming in. But is it going to be enough to take these down? Maybe? Also, yeah, I think he will be able to take down these this bio force with all these hydras. It definitely looks like it's Stefano moving in now. The pickup is going to be the choice for Funke. He's going to get out of there. But he's lost two many. Oh, oh, is he going to lose another many? Ah, he loses one. That is painful, man. And the locusts are still doing damage on this side of the map. Slowly but surely. It's not good, man. I think this is going to be one of those slow games where Funke he just slowly dies, he, s he slowly melts away. I'd love to see him move this command center. Oh, wow, just reads my mind. He's actually built another one. That's gonna go over there, but yeah. Locust, just, you can see this army just getting smaller and smaller every single time. It is, he's stimming up, there's, there's not enough energy on the medivacs to deal with locusts. Creep is absolutely everywhere. Stefano is still not taking this base. He could, it, this one would be a really good one to take, actually, because his Swarmers are in a decent position to cover it. He's got a lot of creep there. If he takes this one, they're, 
there's a lot of defense. I mean, it's really hard to defend it since the swarm hosts are on this side of the map. He is using his roaches and hydras to do that though currently. One thing that Funke could do here, there's no, there's no spore crawlers. So if he's extremely smart, which is hard to pick up on, in this point of the game, oh there's the blinding clouds, this is probably it for Funke here. The tanks are struggling to do damage, but what Funke could do is he could pick up all of his units when he had more and just drop them straight on top of the swarm host after a wave of locusts gets up this ramp so that he can't protect them. And then the rest of the Roach Hydra is over here, but coming up with that decision in the middle of a game is extremely hard to do because he doesn't really see what's going on here. He doesn't know that the Roach Hydra is all over this side of the map either. So that would be the best thing for him to do here, although his, his army is so small right now. It would take him a long time to kill those swarmers. Blinding Cloud going down on all the tanks. Even more damage being done by the Locusts. He's even focusing down the tanks there. Great play by Stefano. The less tanks there are, the slower the Locusts die. And the more damage they can do. More Vipers on the way for Stefano. And if Funky just can't hold like this, it's not going to work. It's just a matter of time until he dies. The Vikings doing a bit of damage to those uh, Vipers there, but do manage to get trans- oh, oh! Nice pull there by Stefano. Picking off that Viper. Queens eat that for dinner. And yeah, this is it guys. This is this is the slow death of Funke. 120 supply, massive bank for Stefano. 200 supply for Stefano. I don't know why he's not taking another base. He could take this base. This oh, he's gonna try and take it now, but maybe he's been trying to take it over and over, and he's not realizing why the drone is dying. Because that is something that often happens with a widow mine. You send the drone there and you're not looking at it, so you're not sure why it's dying. You thought maybe there's a marine there or something. But it's going to go ahead and die. And he has got a decent amount of tanks, but... The locusts are still doing damage. Without PDDs, the locusts are always going to do damage to the tanks. Especially with this creep coming up the ramp as well. I want to see if he takes this base again. Just, I just want to see. Now he's going for the drop. There are two spore crawlers here though. He's even got swarm host defending this base, man. Stefano is crazy, crazy man. Should be should be able to defend with these hydras and swarm hosts. Marines and marauders do do a lot of damage, but there just isn't enough of them right now. Roach Hydra coming across this side. Funke get him pulled out of position again. Locus gonna move into this tank line. Probably gonna do some damage to these tanks. And there we go, they go down. Oh, he finally realizes. So the Widow Miner has been taken down. And he can now take this base. 20 more Hydra is on the way. Big burrow of Swarm Host there. And uh, Funke is not happy at all. Big blinding cloud on the tanks. Everything cannot shoot right now. And all of the bio is going to get taken down. GG from Funke. Nice game from uh, Stefano there, considering the start where he couldn't drone his third base and then he was doing a Roach Hydra 2-2 timing and that worked out pretty well for him so nice play by Stefano GG guys counter -attack. so this is a really strong way to play in a ZVZ even just two Roaches on a counter attack and force so much from your opponent not that they're gonna do a lot of damage that's not the key part of a counter attack the main thing that you're getting from a counter attack is